In this video, I'm going to talk about the layout. A layout defines the structure for a user interface in your application, such as in an activity. All elements in the layout are built using a hierarchy of view and view group objects. A view, just to remember you, a view usually draws something the user can see and interact with, whereas a view group is an invisible container that defines the layout structure for view and other view group objects. So you want to be a professional Android app developer, but you don't know where you should start, what things you should learn, you came to the right place. Welcome to our top bestseller Android app development course, a comprehensive program designed to equip you with the skills and knowledge required to excel in the exciting field of Android app development. We see in this hierarchy that this view group is containing relative layout, grid layout, absolute layout, linear layout, frame layout, and other uh, in, inherited uh, children. So, the view objects are usually called widgets and can be one of many subclasses such as button or text view. And we have seen the buttons and uh, the text views in the previous videos. So, the view is a button or text view or image view and so on. While the view group objects are usually called layouts can be one of many types that provide a different layout structure such as linear layout constraint layout relative layout and so on i want from you to write these notes on your copybook in order to memorize them later on declaring your ui in xml allows you to separate the presentation of your application from the code that controls its behavior. Using XML files also makes it easy to provide different layouts for different screen sizes and orientations. Later on, we will see how to create a responsive layouts using uh, the constraint layouts. How to create layouts. Each layout file must contain exactly one root element which must be a view or a view group object once you've defined the root element you can add additional layout objects or widgets such as a child elements like in this uh, exercise or this um, image and this code the text view and the button these are the children of the root element which is the linear layout so, for example, here's an XML layout that uses a vertical linear layout to hold a text view and a button. So, you can add additional layout objects or widgets such as child elements to gradually build a view hierarchy that defines your layout. After you've declared your layout in XML, save the file with .xml extension in your Android projects, resources, slash, layout, slash, directory. So it's where, slash uh, the, with the name of your uh, layout, .xml directory. So it will be properly compiled. Okay. So we, we save the layouts in the lay, resources, slash, layout folder. Layout attributes. Every view and a view group object supports their own variety of XML attributes. Some attributes are specific to a view object. For example, text view supports the text size attribute, but these attributes are also inherited by any view object that may extend this class. Some, are, some attributes are common to all view objects because they are inherited from the root view class, like the ID attribute. And other attributes are considered layout parameters, which are attributes that describe 
certain layout orientations of the view object as defined by the object's parent view group object. I know it may be uh, complex and confusing, but don't worry, we will clarify everything in the next videos and we will see uh, the layouts in action. I want from you to understand that there are uh, common attributes between the layout and the view because they inherit from all from the view class and there are layout parameters that we will see in the next uh, couple of minutes and we will define them like the width the height and so on let's start with the id id is an attribute that it's common between all the views and if you object may have an integer ID associated with it to uniquely identify the view within the tree. When the app is compiled, this ID is referenced as an integer, but the ID is typically assigned to in the layout XML file as a string in the ID attribute. This is an XML, XML attribute common to all view objects defined by the view class, and you will use it very often. And we've used it, it in the in the previous uh, widgets, the exam, the text view, the button image view, and so on. So I don't know. I don't think that there is uh, any problem with the ID attribute. Now let's move to the layout parameters. XML layout attributes named layout underscore something define layout parameters for the view that are appropriate for the view group in which it resides for example in this linear layout we have the view view these are linear layouts with the layout parameters and we can also see that there is a constraint layout containing also other views that are from the constraint layout passing the layout parameters Every view group class implements a nested class that extends the view group dot layout params, parameters. Okay, params mean parameters. This subclass contains property types that define the size and position for each child view as appropriate for the view group. Note that every layout parameters class has its own syntax for setting values each child element must define layout params that are appropriate to its parent though it may also define different but layout parameters for its own children okay later on we will see this in action don't worry the layout underscore width and layout underscore height these are layout attributes layout underscore something the something here is the width and a height all view groups includes or include a width and height property and each view is required to define them it's required very important point guys it's required to define them many layout parameters also include optional margins and borders you can specify width and height with the exact measurement, though you probably won't want, won't want you to do this often. Okay, this is a very important thing that I should mention, that you should include in your layout parameters the layout width and the layout height. You can set the wrap content tells that your view to size itself to the dimensions required by its content. And the match parent tells your view to become as big as its parent view group will allow. The layout position, which is an attribute that the geometry of a view is that of a rectangle. A view has a location expressed as a pair of left and top coordinates and two dimensions expressed as width and height. The unit for a location and dimension is a pixel. Loading the XML resource. In the next video, we're going to talk about this 
in, in details and we will see that 